Despite a delayed start, Emma Hayes can lead the US WNT to Olympic gold. The timing was the only reason why anyone at US soccer could have been hesitant to appoint Emma Hayes as the women's national team coach. Hayes will stay with Chelsea until the conclusion of the current club campaign. By then, she will only be in control of four games left before the Olympics in 2024. The general perception in the US soccer community is that the US is effectively giving up an opportunity to win an Olympic gold medal for the sake of greater good, a sentiment best described by veteran US player Tobin Heath. Don't assume anything, four days, four games, it doesn't really matter. Hayes can lead the US team to gold in Paris the following year, no doubt. To give you a general idea, look at 2008. Six months prior to the Olympic Games, the US program was completely chaotic. In his 55 games as head coach, Greg Ryan has only lost one, but that one loss was more of an implosion than a defeat. Ryan benched goalkeeper Hope Solo heading into the 2007 World Cup semi-finals for reasons that have changed over time, from enigmatic off-field transgressions to obscure on-field judgments. Given Brazil's overwhelming advantage at the time, no goalie could have stopped the next four-minute zero slaughter. But Solo went out of her way to protest the choice and insinuate that the outcome would have been different if she had replaced Brianna Scurry. Due to his transgression of tossing a comrade, Solo was shunned by his teammates. And a very good friend at that, under the bus, Hayes, Emma. The USWNT is a perfect fit for Emma Hayes. However, she would venture into a viper's pit. Study up on. Then along comes coach Pia Sundhage, a Swedish guitarist who, for some reason, was able to mend the rift that had opened up inside the US camp. When Solo joined the team again, she became into the standout goalie that she would be for the ensuing years. Any discontent was contained within the group. Sundage did really have more time than Hayes. Abby Wambach, the dominant offensive player for the USA, hurt her leg in the final game before the games so she too had to cope with a last-minute twist. Angela Huckle served as Suntage's backup midfielder for the most of her US career, and the breakout star Carly Lloyd scored the winning goal in the championship match against the Brazilian squad that had toured the US less than a year prior. There's just so much a coach can do, and Sundage had some lucky breaks. Despite losing Wambach, she had a strong defense and Heather Mitz, her right back who was often injured, was playing well. However, Sundage faced a few challenges that Hayes will not encounter. The 2008 player pool was limited in a few ways. Because players had contracts that were locked in, benching or leaving out a well-liked player might result in consequences from teammates, supporters, and the media.